God, pretty good after all that. <laughs> What a band! Good day with the band. Oh, thank you, thank you. That's uh, yeah. That's Cleto and the Cletones. May I ask a personal question just to get started? Looks like it's gonna go anyway. What do you want? Does your wife ever give you a massage? Why is that funny? <laughs> <laughs> oh, but it is creepy that she wanted to see Guillermo's. <laughs> well, I was back. I was back there going, yeah, that is just. <laughs> No, she doesn't. <laughs> well, Guillermo just told me his wife gives him a massage once every two months, and right. I found that almost... Well, you want to see it? Uh, well, yeah, I want to see it, because I don't believe it's really happening, and I don't, right. I don't believe she's putting her heart into it either. Right, so you want to go see some other guy get a massage from his wife. That's just creepy right there. <laughs> I want us to go see another guy wow. get a massage from his wife. <laughs> a close well, friend. Now you invite me, then it, it turns it around. I'm all in, baby. <laughs> You know you're here on Bachelor Monday on well, ABC. I was, I was informed yeah. of that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This yeah. is, uh, do you watch The Bachelor? Oh, can't get enough of it. <laughs> can't. I just kept thinking, in a room of 30 women initially, uh -huh. how do you even figure out who's who without badges? I mean, how do they know who's who? No idea. I don't know. I think I watched the first season. In, the only reality TV I, I do is for gags, you know? I watch auto shows uh -huh. where, where they build cars. And then a buddy of mine is on Naked and Afraid. And the reason I watched that is I said, so there, is there ever a point that he, his job is to blur out men's sacks? That's his job. <laughs> so he says, it is, it's hour after hour of this. That's how he does it? it well, yeah. There's dials. It's and older. I'm the weirdo. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's older equipment. Uh-huh. OK. But he's got to roll by, and he sees just nutsack after nutsack after nutsack. <laughs> and I asked him, I said, John, does it ever get to the point you actually say what people get used to everything, right? Do you ever go, well, yeah. Like, of all of the nutsacks you see, do you finally go, not a bad one? <laughs> From this angle, do you ever go, yeah? And he goes, yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah. And he'll bring, he'll bring other guys in. Hey, guys, Paul, look, <laughs> look at the guy walking up the hill. Not bad, huh? They go, you, you know, they, they turn over equipment a lot. People don't stay there. That eventually... seems like a job that when you get it, you go, oh, wow, this will be fun. I get to watch all the naked people all the time. He says the most impressive guys, if you can see it while he's walking away. And I said, I never thought about it, but think about it. You can see it <laughs> where a guy, if he's walking away, you go, uh -huh. damn, now that. Would be a problem sitting down. I mean, that is, I don't know what you do with that. The ugliest stuff ever invented. I mean, I don't know if God must have been out of the room for that. I like to imagine a universe in which there's another show, but on that show, they're blurring everything but the nutsack. <laughs> yes, it yes. is. It's on a, a history channel. It's called Scrotunus. <laughs> oh, really? It's, 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 it's very new. Have you ever done a nude scene in a film or no, anything like I, that? No, I, I, oh. I, I think it's funny about nude scenes because Nancy Travis, who plays my wife on Last Man Standing, uh -huh. Thursday on Fox, owned by ABC now, I think. I don't, yes, I don't, yes. We by, own everything now. <laughs> Disney <laughs> owns you and everything. She, when, when women are in this business, men don't get it that much. They go, could you do one with your top off? That's our joke on our set. Just do one. Like, sometimes the writers say, just do it once as written. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, I me. I go, yeah. no, if I do it as written, then you'll use it. Right. And they, they always say women, just do one. She said she got asked that a lot early in her career when they don't know when to say no and all that. But they just say, oh. we're not going to use it. Uh -huh. Just one with your top off. <laughs> I, I was thinking, did that ever go back in history? Like uh, David and M Michelangelo, the statue guy. <laughs> did Michelangelo ever get there? Hey, Dave, hey, Dave, it's David, right? Can we do one without the tunic? <laughs> just, just, you know, he's going, well, no, why? Why would you want that? No, we're not going to use it. <laughs> just, I want to get the shape of the buttocks area. But it, it's really cold here, Michael. And I go, yeah, I can see that. We're going to have to flip this off. But it's not like we're going to use it and put it into a church or anything. Or put it in Caesar's yeah, palace. Yeah, we're not going to put it in Caesar's palace sitting there with the thing there. No, you got to. You got, uh, Toy Story 4 got two Oscar nominations yeah. today. Yeah. Best yeah. animated feature. <laughs> Best song. I saw you and your little boy at the premiere, right? That's downstairs. right. Yeah, yes. it, was, it was the most exciting movie because Hanks and I were close buddies because of this. Real sad at the end. If you haven't seen it, it's yeah. that it, to fit and beyond. But the, great movie. Oh, great thing. It was so great to be have rebooted and it got better and better. It's sad, but I, 
too much of Keanu Reeves. I got to be honest. <laughs> I, got I disagree. But that, that, yeah. that Kaboom character was pretty funny, right? Very funny. And yes. I didn't like that. Oh, oh, because he was cooler than Buzz at a point. And then uh. the writers go, "Yeah, but he's only this big." Uh. I go, "Oh, the toy is this big." <laughs> so we go see a premiere. Uh, Keanu and I, we're Keanu. You know, we're good. Buddy. What'd you go to? We went to saw that premiere because oh. they wanted us to see it. I hadn't seen it. I see. Okay. So he shows up. And he, I just finished Wick Three. Oh, watching it. Oh, yeah. Right. 700 right. murders in a minute. I've yeah, right. never seen more murders. <laughs> he calls it, it's a ballet of violence. What, what does that mean? <laughs> and he's sitting next to me, and he's dressed. He looks just like Wick. I mean, he's got this beard and this hair and the same freaking clothes, like this guy. So he's right here, a little creepy. Uh -huh. He's doing a toy movie, right? Uh -huh. So I go into this whole thing. Hey, Keanu, here's what I would do if, if I was in the movie, if I was one of the villains. I'd say, hey, look, let's keep him out of enclosed spaces. Like Wick, you don't want to get him in a factory uh -huh. or God knows a bar, because that's where he shot like 7,000 people <laughs> a minute. What I would do is I wait to come out of your house because you have a little dog you walk. And I'd be across the street with a big rifle and I'd just pick you off coming out of the house. <laughs> he didn't even blink. He goes, Wick would know you were there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's, a, he's the nicest guy in the world too, which is I hate. There's just nothing not to like about. Speaking him. of nicest guys in the world, I know you do something every year with a group of fellow comics at the Laugh oh, Factory, yeah. where you guys feed the homeless and people who are less fortunate, people who need a meal at the holidays. Did you do that this year? Do it every year. Jamie uh -huh. Masada, he's done this for like 30 years, and it's just it, it. It's great. Number one, it's just great to pal around with guys. I used to work the Laugh Factory, I still work there. There's, you get people, there's hundreds. I'm there, my wife and I go with our kids, and I've got some nephews and nieces that we all go, and I'm on the light meat, she's on the dark meat, and I don't want to get in some politically. It just happens to be there's a t part of the turkey yes. that's the darker meat, and they happen to be part of the right. turkey with lighter meat. Anyway, but you get people in there, at the end of the night, you got to be on stage. You know, mm -hmm. Jamie goes, go up and do a few jokes. Mm -hmm. I got an apron on made out of plastic <laughs> with gloves, and I'm, I'm Doing bits to homeless people. So everything is annoying. I go, so I'm in out of my house. We well, don't have a house. So I'm, I'm driving to work. Well, I have a car. You don't have a car or no. a work. But out of nowhere, you get people. The guy comes through the line. He comes through like six times. And I go, you want some more turkey? Anything you want. You get guy. He goes, do you have an agent? Uh, I, yeah, I, I, a state farm. You might make it by Joe. He goes, no, an agent, agent. I go, yeah, easy, pal. He goes, I got a script. Right away, he's got a script. I said, this is homeless, not jobless. So I guess it is the same thing. He came by like six times, and now he's, you got to have some connections in this business. Oh, no. Across the street at the Starbucks, I go there all the time, and there's a homeless guy who's feeding. And I, I keep going in there, feed him. He shows up in cold water across the hill at another Starbucks, comes out of behind a dumpster, same guy. This is hours later. How the hell did you get over here? He's uncomfortable because he remembers my face. I remember his face. And he says, hey, I don't want any more tomato basil. Don't do that. <laughs> Another Starbucks, I go in, the guy's going, he's going ballistic in there. He's going F this, F that. It's B word, C word. He's screaming at the staff. And, and the, the girl comes behind the desk, the manager, sir, you've got, yo, F, F, bomb, 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 C, every word. He's all like this, and I'm trying to get by him like this. And he stops and he goes, hey, love your new show. F bomb, F bomb, F bomb, F bomb. <laughs> Tim Allen is here. The show is called Last Man Standing. We'll be right back. Yeah. All right, so... Yeah. Hold it. That dude's got to calm down. You're going to hurt yourself. All that screaming. <laughs> you got to see this crowd of people at home. They get lit up. Woo! There's a lot of enthusiasm. So, um, speaking of enthusiasm and speaking of screaming, there's a guy... Do you know about this guy? There's a guy... His name is Malcolm. And oh, the grunting kid. Yes, the yeah. grunting kid. Now, I think it's best to let Malcolm explain what he's up to for himself. Here we go. I'm just making a video to announce my new series I'm doing called Tim Allen Grunt Every Day, where I make a video of myself doing a Tim Allen Grunt every day until Tim Allen recognizes me and does a grunt of his own. Okay, now, you saw by the date, that's almost three years ago. This guy has made, like, a thousand videos. <laughs> Let's look at some of what he's done. Okay. Now... <laughs> uh, I feel like... 
and obviously you can handle this any way you want, but yeah, I with feel a security like, guy. I feel like there's no end to this for this poor bastard. And now that he's committed to it, he this could go on uh, into his senior years. So oh. would you be willing to give him the grunting acknowledgement that he has been seeking? As long as there are witnesses here, when it goes bad, you end up in court. Okay, you know? all right, yeah, but, yeah. Mr. Kimmel, what were you thinking when you bought this guy to Tim's I'll house? I'll say, I don't know. We were just on the way to watch <laughs> Guillermo get a massage. Oh. <laughs> so is, what's his name? His name's Malcolm. So, uh, Malcolm? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Malcolm, I hope that it was everything you dreamed it would be. You can now get on with your life. You can find a, a, a spouse, maybe have a family. And, and who knows, maybe even a job would be nice, That'd be too. Good. Tim Allen, everybody. Last man standing Thursday nights, 8 o'clock on Fox. We'll be right back with Zach Woods. I am Jimmy Kimmel. Give back this holiday season by my new book, The Serious Goose. I wrote it and illustrated it. All the money I make goes to children's hospitals across the country. So um, you know what to do.